Pistachio was born from a litter of nine, sometime around mid-2000. My brother Victor bought her in January of 2001. Since then, she has been a very special part of my family. Sassy is a basset hound, a short-haired hunting dog. She has long body, short legs, and long droopy ears. Sassy is not human, but she has human qualities. She cannot speak English, but she can still communicate with me. Sneeze, dog. She doesn't have the luxuries of TV or books to read. But she has a big juicy bone. But because of her title as a domestic animal, she's restricted to animal labels. Sassy eats dog food, drinks dog water. She doesn't live inside the house. She rents out the garage area. Sassy sure does love these treats. I want you to smell it, I'm gonna hide it. Smell it. Smell it. Now stay. Stay. Let's go right hide this tree here. Sassy was bred to hunt. Go get it, Sassy. She's a hound dog. She is an efficient hunter, and I try my best to train her. She knows it's near. Good dog. Good dog. Sadly, Sassy doesn't really have any animals she could call friends. She lives a life of solitude and prefers to stay away from other dogs. She despises trips to Petco or PetSmart or any other dog gatherings. Sassy also suffers from arthritis. In her prime, Sassy would jump through doggy doors to reach her home or food, run laps around the yard until she was too tired to stand. She would also jump onto people to play with them. Sadly, she can no longer do any of this. Sassy now needs human intervention to continue living comfortably in her home. She no longer runs around wildly or jumps over anything. She no longer uses doggy doors. I simply tie the door open so that she may enter and leave when she pleases. Sassy's life as a dog isn't as exciting as a rock star's, or as troubled as a drug addict's, but it does have its highs and lows. Whether receiving a bacon flavored dog treat or having absolutely nobody to play with, Sassy continues to be the domestic animal she has always been. <laughs>